security challenges and their management in border areas. Security is a country's border against interest hostile to the country and putting in place systems that are able to interdict such elements while facilitating legitimate trade and commerce are among the principal objectives of border management. The proper management of borders, which is vitally important for national security, presents many challenges and includes coordination and concerted action by administrative, diplomatic, security, intelligence, legal, regulatory, and economic agencies of the country to secure the frontier and subserve in its best interests. The evolution of boundaries in the Indian subcontinent has a long historical legacy, which often has been a source of tension and conflict between neighbors. Before 1947, the Indian subcontinent was a single geographical unit comprising present-day India, Pakistan, Nepal, Myanmar, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka are marked by political, social, and economic unity. People and good were free to move anywhere in the subcontinent unhindered by barriers. However, political and administrative compulsions led to the division of the subcontinent and the eventual breakup of the social and economic unity. As well, states based on religious and ethnic identities were carved out of the single geographical unit. Boundaries hastily drawn to give shape of to new political entities did not follow any distinct physical features. This superimposed lines cut across ethnic, social, and economic communities. Starting these new borders, consequently, people of the same village often found themselves citizens of two different countries, separated by a line. Their livelihood were severely threatened by the disruption of trade as barriers were erected in the way of the smooth flow of cargo and passengers. <laughs> Like all boundaries in South Asia, India's boundaries are also man-made. India shares 14,880 kilometers of boundary with Pakistan, 3,332 kilometers China, 3,488 kilometers Nepal, 1,751 kilometers Bhutan, 699 kilometers Myanmar, 1,643 kilometers and ecological milieus, each with its own unique setting and associated problems. For example, India-Pakistan border areas are spread across extreme climatic conditions, given that the boundary runs from the hot Thar desert of Rajasthan to the cold Himalayas in Jammu and Kashmir. Similarly, in the north, the India-China boundary runs along one of the loftiest mountain ranges covered with the snow all through the year. The India-Myanmar boundary is draped with lush tropical forest with its myriad undergrowth. The Indo-Bangladesh boundary has to cope up with the ever-shifting riverbed in the region. These diverse ecological and climatic conditions create immense hurdles for extending the security and administrative reach in these borders areas. Coupled with these, the man-made nature of these boundaries also throws up serious issues such as border disputes, porous borders, continuance of trans borders, ethnic and social types, etc. Together, they post a serious challenge to the effective management of the borders. Each of India's borders has its own specific problems. Following is a brief description of the problem with afflict various borders. The begin with the Indian Bangladesh formerly East Pakistan border was drawn by the Bengal Boundary Commission, chaired by Sir Cyril Ratcliffe. The commission submitted its report in the Governor General of August 12, 1947, while delineating the India's East Bengal boundary. Cyril Radcliffe noted that the <coughs> province of Bengal provided very few, if any such, but the natural boundaries. The border was thus drawn on the basis of all the district maps. This made the boundary circuitous instead of following natural barriers. Its meanders to villages, agricultural lands, and rivers rendering the border extremely porous with many disputed pockets, undermarketed structures existing of enclaves, 
Cheat mahars of adverse positions have been causing constant friction between the borders regarding forces of India and Bangladesh. A major consequence of a porous border is the ease with each which it is crossed leg legally. The trend of illegal migration from Bangladesh into India <coughs> has continued since independence. Various push factors such as political appeals, religious Mm, persecution, demographic pressures, environmental crisis, and pull factors such as availability of land, employment opportunities, medical care, and education have contributed to the large scale influx of Bangladeshis into India. Although there is an acknowledgement of this fact, there are no authoritative estimate of the number of such illegal migrants. Estimates vary from between 4 and 5 million to 10 and 14 million. A task force of border management headed by Sri Madhav Godbol put the figure at 15 million with 30,000 Bangladeshis entering India illegally every month. This illegal migration has changed the demographic profile of many border states with has resulted the separatist movements. The porosity of the border also allows Indian uh, insurgents to cross over the Bangladesh and over neighboring countries for asylum. Presently, the United Liberation Friend of Azam and All Tripura Trigger Force and National Liberation Friend of Tripura and National Democratic Friend of Bodoland, as well as several other insurgent outfits of the Northeast, are based in the Chittago. Uh, Kagra Chari and Shailat district of Bangladesh. According to reports, there are 97 hideout camps of Indian insurgent groups in Bangladesh. It is also reported in 77 insurgent criminals figuring in Interpol Red Corner notice are being harbored by Bangladesh. Porous border, lack of economic opportunities, poverty, underdevelopment, attitude of the people towards petty crimes. Laxity of vigilance, nexus between criminals and police and border guarding forces all contribute to escalating trans-border crimes. Smuggling of cattle has become a serious concern. Truckloads of uh, cattle from Haryana, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh are shipped to the India-Bangladesh border every day. Uh, Austin simply for gazing purpose. From here, these <coughs> cattle are smuggled into Bangladesh along with cattle, smuggling of arms and other essential items such as sugar, salt and diesel, human and narcotics, trafficking, counterfeit Indian currency, kidnapping and theft are quite rampant along the India-Bangladesh border. Indo-Nepal border. The India and Nepal have shared an open border since 1950. The conception of such a border can be found in the Treaty of Peace and Friendship that the two countries signed that year provisions in the treaty wherein citizens of both countries are given equal rights in matters of residence, acquisition of property, employment and movement in each other territory provide for an open border between two countries. During colonial times, the British had an interest in keeping the border open for two reasons. Firstly, impressed by the fighting skills of the dark Gurkhas by British wanted to recruit them into the Indian army. Secondly, Nepal was seen as a market for uh, finished goods from India. To achieve these objectives, it was necessary to provide unrestricted cross-border movement uh, for both goods and people and hence the idea of an open border independent India also followed the Britain British tradition of an open border with Nepal the open border between two countries has facilitated close social cultural and economic exchanges and led to a social relationship between two countries people from both countries are free to enter the other territory from any point of the border while the movement of goods are allowed uh, along design designated transit point 
the unrestricted movement of people across the border over the centuries has led to the development of well entrenched socio-cultural linkages these linkages have in turn facilitated greater economic interdependence and political ties there is no denying the fact that an open border has been a great facilitator of strong and unique bilateral relations at the same time it has given rise to many uh, irritants uh, and problems that raise serious concerns there are many points of disputes along the indo nepal border mostly a result of the constantly shifting courses of the turbulent himalayan rivers prominent among these are the one relating to kalapani and susta the submergence destruction and removal of border pillar and enc en encroachment into the into no man's land by people 